Dietrich, CEO of Fairfax Global Markets, LLC. Paul is an international corporate attorney and was formerly associated with two Washington, D.C. law firms, Squire, Sanders, and Dempsey, now Squire, Patton, Boggs, and Jones Day. As an attorney, he has been an advisor on privatization and economic development issues to the World Bank, as well as several governments in Asia, Eastern Europe, and the former Soviet Union. Thanks for joining us, Paul. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to do what Richard mentioned about uh, uh, is very important. And so I wanted to talk about uh, a new uh, Advisor Hub podcast uh, is The Investor's Guide uh, to Investing in Disruptive Technologies. And uh, uh, Tony Siriani, the CEO of Advisor Hub, and I, we are the co-host of this uh, new podcast that's going to be launched within the next couple of weeks. Uh, and we're going to be talking about specific disruptive technologies that are creating new industries, creating um, uh, new companies, new technologies, and millions of jobs. And I'll be blunt. Uh, if you're a financial advisor and you don't understand uh, how these uh, uh, disruptive technologies are changing the entire face of American business, uh, then you and your clients' investments are not going to be uh, outperforming uh, in the future. And so, um, you know, remember what the U.S. economy looked like 30, 50 years ago? Well, most politicians down in Washington, D.C., where I primarily live, uh, they still live in that fantasy world. But you as a financial advisor, you cannot uh, live in that fantasy world uh, of uh, politicians talking about, uh, you know, I, I listen to the politicians in Washington and they seem to talk about our economy as some major manufacturing powerhouse. Whereas at best, the truth is uh, that manufacturing represents about 10%, at, at the most 12%. 70% is consumers. Most of the rest is technology. Uh, and you need to understand how, the, how everything is changing within the US economy. I mean, nobody thought five years ago that we were going to become the biggest oil producer and oil exporter. Uh, in the world. Uh, you know, this is how quickly things are changing. I mean, remember when Walmart uh, kind of put every small mom and pop business on Main Street out of business? Uh, what Amazon did to malls and Sears, uh, what the Apple iPhone 10 years ago did to Blackberry uh, and the uh, Nokia flip phone, uh, and remember the apps. Uh, you know, Uber is the largest taxi company in the world, and it owns no taxis. It's an app. Uh, Airbnb is the largest hotel or accommodations company in the world, and it doesn't own a hotel or a hotel room. It's an app. Uh, and Facebook is the largest media company in the world, and it has no journalist. And you can tell it has no journalist. It's an app. Uh, and, you know, we've seen this over and over again. Personal computers bankrupted the typewriter industry. Uh, in, the Internet has put out of business almost all local newspapers uh, in the United States, and Google and Wip Wikipedia have, you know, done away with Encyclopedia Britannica. And so this has all happened in the last, you know, 10, 15 years, most of it in the last 10 years. Uh, and so you... You know, you look at the, the top five biggest companies in the S&P 500, and four of them are what would be considered disruptive technologies, and that's how they got there. So we are now standing on the precipice uh, of, of probably 
a new era of technological change that we, you know, is going to make everything that's happened in the last 10 years look like child's play. I mean, with the advent of 5G coming in uh, and smart cities and, and things that are working off of 5G and driverless cars, but it's going to transform that gene editing, CRISPR, quantum computers, artificial intelligence, all of these things where we're in the baby step eras, once 5G comes in, we're going to see transformations in manufacturing, in healthcare, in the military industries, in just about every industry that you can think of uh, that is going to be the same kind of change that we, we saw 10 years ago after uh, the smartphones were invented and apps were invented uh, and all of those things. And so, you know, we're going to be talking about the specific disruptive technologies that venture capitalists all over the world uh, are really getting excited over. Uh, each of the podcasts is going to be about 25 minutes. It's going to tell you everything you need to know uh, about this disruptive technology, how it works, how it's put together, uh, what it's going to do, and how it's going to change the world. We're going to be talking about all the people who will be opposed to this disruptive technology, all the people uh, who regulatory agencies, governments, and competitors uh, who are not going to want these, uh, these new technologies to disrupt their uh, businesses. I was on Neil Cavuto's program talking about this last Thursday. I will also be on Wednesday, I mean, or Thursday of this week. And I was talking about, you know, you see all these new streaming services coming out. You had Netflix and, and then just this week uh, we saw Disney Plus and we saw Apple Plus come in last month. And, you know, for the cost of a latte, you get, uh, for a month, you get hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of options uh, to watch. And this is going to become supercharged after 5G comes in because people will be able to watch live television programs, your local programs, not on your TV, but on your iPad, your iPhone. Uh, and this is just going to happen. And many analysts like myself, um, incidentally, in two weeks, I become chief investment analyst for B. Riley uh, over there. I thought I'd put in a plug uh, for that. But a lot of analysts think that the movie theater business is going to be just uh, a thing of the past, a kind of dinosaur, kind of like malls are uh, today. Uh, and so these are the sort of things that you have to know. And we talk about how to invest in these disruptive technologies. Well, one of the things that uh, it's not always the best thing to actually invest in the disruptive technology, but to take the Warren Buffett sort of approach. He used to say he never invested in technology companies. He wanted to invest in the companies that use technology in order to increase their productivity and profits. Uh, I mean, I remember eight years ago when everyone was trying to get into the app business and uh, it, how do you invest in app developers? Well, nobody's ever made any money um, in app development. But, you know, had you, had you invested in the companies that were using app, like Uber, Airbnb, Facebook, you would have made a lot of money. And so we're going to tell people how to invest, the kinds of uh, uh, investments they should be making, and the kinds that they should stay away from. I mean, how many of you uh, have had a client ask, uh, how do I invest in Bitcoin? How do I invest in cannab the cannabis industry? Well, in our first bro uh, uh, podcast, we talk about everything you ever wanted to know uh, about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and everything you've ever wanted to know to be wary uh, of investing in these, uh, uh, in these disruptive technologies. There are actually some legitimate uh, uses for cryptocurrencies, but uh, this is the kind of thing, and I said, each one's 25 minutes. Uh, it's easy to digest. And you need to know this stuff because you're going to get calls from your clients 
and you want to be able to give them a thoughtful answer. So anyway, I, I urge you to, uh, you know, log on to Advisor Hub, and, uh, and we will be announcing the, these in a few weeks uh, coming up. I hope you'll subscribe, uh, and if you have any comments, please send them to us, and uh, we will have a podcast for the disruptive technology of your choice. Thank you all so much. Thank you.